Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo here to do your January love reading um, for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if some of the messages may resonate, they may not. Take a fit, leave the rest. And uh, yeah, personal reading link is below the video. Um, yeah, let's get into this Virgo. Okay, let's see what these love messages are. Hope you guys had a fantastic new year and everybody was safe. Okay, let's see what's going on here for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Okay, three cards. Three? No? Four? No? Five? Six? Seven? Karmic relationship. Okay. Hmm. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, reluct... Wait, resentment. Oh my gosh. Lessons learned, letting go and loving yourself. You also have the phoenix. Wow, Virgo, this is like definitely rising above. Okay. <laughs> these cards i'm not going to count because they suck together in the deck i will all right i will say this okay this is a continuation of um i feel like the last reading the overall message for the new year you have the grim reaper again chaser wedding rings they did stick together they're all sticking together they must have candy cane juice on them i don't know what's going on here um, and healing heart. So, you know, if you listen to my last reading where it was um, the year predictions for 2023 coming up, this is this feels like a continuation. Okay, um, you did have somebody chasing you. You can go back into um, my videos and see. I posted it a couple days ago. Um, there was this Grim Reaper, um, an energy of somebody like where you're done with this relationship, not giving a second chance, growing, transforming your life. Uh, somebody's very codependent, not wanting to let you go. Um, and then possibly even, wish, even wishing, you know, hey, let's get married. Really uh, raising, raising the bar here. And then you've got healing heart. I feel like Virgo, you're healing from a heartbreak. Freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction of some sort. And okay, now you've got the runner. You're running, <laughs> Virgo, this person's gonna chase you. And you're like, nope, you're running as fast as you can, running away from this karmic relationship into your new phase, having a renewal of yourself, transforming yourself, having growth, and it looks like a changed mind. Okay, so let's get into this. So it, it looks to me, Virgo, like you are still on that same path. You're still moving forward. You're not looking back. You're not, <laughs> you're not driving forward, looking in the rear view. This is a karmic. This was a karmic relationship. Okay. Now, if that resonates for you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about here, Virgo. But it's, you know what? It's like, there's no bloody stumps here. So, you know, somebody might be resentful towards you because you're, you know, letting go and loving yourself. Okay. <laughs> and they may be trying to get you back, but let's take a look and see what's going on with you here. What's your new year? Okay. Okay got the king of cups so you're definitely showing up here with this king of cups as being very mature and compassionate with others and self being um i see you calm and you're sympathetic definitely but you're wise um very like it's like you reoriented yourself towards your family people um in your sphere of influence people who are very close to you um you might be connecting with a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy um this person showing up very charming and devoted very generous um sincere good loving intentions like this person not giving to get they are giving so that you um it's an energy of like being very like a caretaking someone who's very caring giving so that you will feel happy not expecting anything in return okay now that's so far <laughs> let me see what else is going on here okay all right so basically i see you really gaining your confidence in the month of january you know king of cups um we, we don't look at genders here, male or female energy, masculine, feminine. Um, I feel like you are really like emotionally stable and you have this inner strength and this courage you're coming across. Okay. Um, overcoming self-doubt. It's great. I see you being very focused and influential as well. Taming the beast. 
Okay, and you also have the High Priestess with the Four of Pentacles. So Virgo, it's like you're just keeping to yourself, really. Trusting your intuition and your gut, um, being a little mysterious. You're not sharing um, how you feel. You could be connected with a Leo, I'm also hearing, but you're not sharing how you feel. It's kind of like things yet to be re revealed. You're keeping everything within. Um, your emotions, um, something to do with a past relationship, and that Four of Pentacles is like blocking, um, not letting anybody in, not letting anything out. You're just regaining your confidence and staying focused on what you need to do for yourself in January as you get out of some kind of karmic situation you know that phoenix here this is like you you have this new phase new year new me right you have this new phase happening here starting something new in the new year um putting your plans into action and i'll see you waiting for things to come to you i see you just manifesting the things that you want in your life one step in front of the other okay so you're also blocking so you may have blocked someone or you're just like blocking your heart or protecting your heart you are um, maybe blocking you're being stingy with your heart and your feelings you're not sharing anything um, focusing on your financial stability and your fin financial security for sure like you're not gonna budge this is a card of budgeting <laughs> it's like i'm not budging nope i am not budging you are like standing in your power in your strength being very brave in january and i feel like um you i, I see you like having you're not second guessing yourself um no self-doubt here so in regards to some kind of karmic partnership or relationship this person you're running away and expect them to be chasing you down and it looks to me like you're going to be like <laughs> we have capricorn as well cancer leo and pisces but it looks to me like you're basically going to be like you're not moving you, you you have your horse stance you can't be pushed over you're not being a pushover during this time period so this is good this is good it's like you're getting your sea legs and you're getting grounded okay what else is virgo going through here okay look at you you've got the emperor so virgo seriously you are um <laughs> being in boss mode i feel like you're in boss mode right now you're taking control seriously of yourself not of anybody else just taking control of yourself you're the you're the author to this new chapter in your life what you're doing here and i feel like that's very attractive to someone because that phoenix is rising like somebody's watching you rise or they know you're going to you know rise uh, they're just giving me an image of, of someone was like trying to keep you down you know like kind of what i was saying in the last reading where you're lifting up like cutting the sandbags off those balloons and I feel like somebody knows that as soon as they, as soon as you are able to get free, you're going to, you're going to rise back up to the top, like cream of the, cream of the, you know how like the cream, ri what the hell am I talking about? You know how like the, the cream rises? <laughs> What's the saying? I can't even, I just see like the, the cream rising to the top, cream of the crop, cream rising to the top here with that emperor energy. Even if you were in that king or queen of cups energy where you just, you know, nurturing yourself and being very compassionate and friendly and understanding and tolerant, balanced, affectionate, things like that. Like that's itself. But that's kind of like you're building your self-esteem, getting your courage. And it's like, I don't know, Virgo, I just see you really coming into this emperor energy, being a good parent, becoming more stable dependable like you really actually get there you know i mean wherever you think you are now i see you like rising even higher with that again with this focus showing up here so like you are fully protected you are fully protected let me see here what's going on i'm going to see what this chaser runner situation is oh man this person oh my gosh sagittarius this person is like heavily burdened like they're they're just like stressed they are like stressed that you are like this person can't keep up with you they're like chasing you but i don't know you're running faster 
than this person you're 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 healing your heart you're getting away like look this person they're kind of like oh oh wait wait and there you are with the runner and you're like speeding right past them um i feel like this person is like they're getting exhausted like they know that they can't keep up with you they know like they feel restricted it's a struggle um it's almost like this thing with this person i don't know if it was they felt like it was a duty to keep you down it was a lot of work and virgo's like it is a lot of work because i am not meant to be caged and i feel like this person is like pushing some heavy weight around even in their own life they are like completely they might have been leaning on you to you know lift them up or make them feel good about themselves maybe they were seeking validation they were very dependent because there was like like heavy de emotional dependency on you and virgo this person I, I feel like they're gonna collapse that's what the ten of wands is i mean that's like complete exhaustion this person is like coming to like this complete collapse here this person could not or cannot sustain without you and they may not have realized that but i feel like they're coming to terms with like you were like a lifeline for this person okay which is pretty effed up in a sense because it's like no one could be your lifeline god should be your lifeline all right yeah and this person is like they want to have a new they want to try again this person wants to have like this new beginning with you the potential is there this potential the, the, but i don't know that this person could ever get past that potential i feel like this relationship or the connection with this person from their their mindset it feels like was always just what was always just a potential they might have treated you like or told you that it could have been more or it would have been more and we're working on it and things like that but i feel like for you virgo somewhere along the line in the past you must have came to this place where you're like you know what lesson learned man nothing was going on here i'm letting go and loving myself there's too much turmoil this person is too fleeting they're in and out of my life it's like no okay it is like no this person's been blocking that love that whole time they've been blocking the blessing and they've just been maybe taking from you or trying to get their you know, they, like like you were some kind of gas station or petrol station and coming to get their fill and then going off and then leaving you behind. And like you might have been like, well, what am I? You know, like what am I to this person? Okay. This person, like I'm running on empty. Who's filling me up? You know, and you're going to get your fill now, Virgo, for yourself. And I feel like for you, this is really like I just have to you know remove myself from this situation or i'm going to remove myself from this situation before it turns into a karmic relationship before it turns into something like this person is just going to be running after me and then when it's time to go um i don't get a, i don't get to hop in the passenger seat with them and go mm -mm. okay so yeah i feel like this person look at that okay Again, Scorpio energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sag, Aries. Look, Virgo, this person, they're at a complete loss. Like, I don't know if you abandon this person. Um, you're running away from a codependent relationship. You're running away from someone who, I don't know. I don't know that this person has a fear of intimacy. I honestly think that that's a load of crap now at this point. I feel like. I, I don't feel like this person had a fear of intimacy and I don't give a rat's ass if they had trauma or if their parents didn't treat them well or they had been dumped or whatever like it's a character disorder <laughs> seriously like I mean I feel like some people get so used to living in their trauma that they don't even know anymore that they're treating people badly you know and I, I just feel like this person whatever their issue was like you leaving I feel like that's really for you all you need to do for someone to wake up here and see like what you meant to them because I do see here this person is really going to be grieving this opportunity to have something with you because I don't feel like look you've got the four pentacles Virgo January it's all about you 
and I don't see that you're going to give anybody another chance, no second chances like in the last reading. Look at this. You're just tearing this person apart. I don't feel like you're intentionally doing it. I feel like this person is like breaking down. Total chaos and destruction with the tower. Oh my gosh. And having a revelation. Total revelation. Like they might have leaned so heavily on you to take some of that weight off. You know, maybe there was an ego thing or they need a validation. Or they were just trying to suck you drive your energy. And then... <laughs> This person's stuck on the side of the road with no gas. They cannot get to the gas station. The gas station is closed. And this person is legit right now. Like, what are they going to do? They have just smashed into a wall. Or they their car drove off the ditch. Now, I'm not talking literally. I'm saying figuratively. Okay. Uh, their whole world is coming crashing down. And that five of pentacles, or five of cups right there, like this person, unwelcome change. Like they didn't even expect this. That's what that tower is. This person did not expect this. And they are in despair. They, they, you must have, if you abandon them, I don't know. They feel abandoned. They have a lot of remorse and regret for treating you. Look, they got trauma here. You know, and they got to sit with it. This person might have been trying to work out their traumas and their problems um, with you in a sense where whenever they start getting, feeling that trauma trigger or something, those fleeting triggers, and they would run to you so that you would make them feel better. And they never actually sat with self and soothed themselves. You know what I mean? Instead, they just used you. Again, filling up the gas. It sounds like this person sounds like a complete narcissist. My gosh. <laughs> I, I also feel like this person might have always been like, well, not all of you, but some of you, they might have been someone who was um, making a lot of promises, giving a lot of flattery. That Ace of Cups is romance romantic affirmations every time maybe when they got stressed they would come in and try to romance you or love bomb you a little bit but it was in their intention was to get their cup filled it wasn't really for you and i feel like virgo if you haven't already noticed this about this person i feel like you're coming to grips with that um in january it's like no more in no more for you you're you're like no you got to go fill your own cup. Mm -mm. Don't come in here with that empty cup. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person's in complete conflict. I mean, the struggle. Maybe there was an argument or something. They're angry and they want to fight, but they're not going to fight. Rather than fight, they're going to, they want to try to give this love offer, try to make this love offer. But, you know, I don't see them actually doing it. And I think that's because that four planet pentacles there looks like you have this person completely blocked so they can't even talk to you like and now virgo i'm telling you like if you listen i i don't want to ever tell you what to do right if you want to heal the relationship then you gotta unblock them but if you're like somebody who is like no this person is using you or abusing you you gotta just keep that door shut you know um but this person here is they're in chaos. They're definitely in chaos. They're also an energy of territory, territorial energy, you know, like they, they're all, they're getting angry is what I feel. Not crazy angry, but understand that the five represents ch uncertain change. This person try, will try to realign with you. They don't want you to have your freedom or they don't want you to be free without them. They were very inconsistent. Okay, and I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like whatever you had to do, I mean, like this person feels like you've put a huge obstacle to them getting to you. And I feel like you did that because you're trying to protect yourself so you can gain your courage and your strength. Okay, or there was some kind of obstacle that was put between you and this person, um, like spirit came down and did that. Because they were like, listen, Virgo, if you don't get out of this, or if you don't, you know, just put a stop to the situation, you're going to miss out on all that great love in your future. Okay. So, I mean, I know this is specific, at least it might sound like it, but I can just tell you right now, like it might not be that intense, but I, I feel like Virgo, you are just done. At least 
until you can get yourself stable and grounded and in your um, get your footing because I don't know what it is with this person, but I feel like if they run back into your life or they reach out and you're nice to them and you're kind, you might always feel a sense of hope. Like, okay, well, you know, maybe this time they're going to be different times, you know, we've been separated and maybe they're going to come to their senses or maybe they've thought about things. But I feel like it's just the same old thing. It just keeps happening. You keep getting let down. You keep getting hurt because this person's only coming in to get their gas filled, fill their tank. So, you know, whatever, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, Virgo, it's like, I feel like January is like, F that, new year, new me. That's what, that's the energy here for you in this, that for, at least for you. I feel like this person needs to sit with themselves, seriously, because look, they have the tower, they have the, they have, they have a conflict card, they have the tower, chaos, destruction, the five of cups, loss, abandonment grief they have the ten of wands burden complete collapse and all they think to themselves is hmm maybe i really should have offered that true love something real relationship to virgo maybe they're feeling sorry for themselves come on now what the hell you're feeling sorry for yourself <sighs> have a pity party virgo's not having a pity party for anybody virgo's like mm -mm, we don't have time for that we got empires to build we got a whole brand new uh, year coming towards us. We're trying to make the best of things here. And Virgo, let's see if new love's coming into your life. You know, I just realized that today's Sunday, and this is supposed to be your singles read. So I am going to do it, though. I'm going to take a look and see what your singles, like if anybody's coming in new, good, or if not. Okay, let's see. I'll just kind of blend them all right no so virgo like right now you have the hermit virgo you are doing you that is what you are doing you're like self reevaluating things you're doing some soul searching seeking some spiritual enlightenment at this time you know in january you know self-reflection you know organizing your thoughts organizing like try, getting that inner guidance you're in solitude virgo so could there be somebody coming in? Yeah, but it looks to me like you're like, no, not right now. Mm -mm. You're trying to get your um, <laughs> trying to get your footing at this time, making your plans, trying to understand like how you want your year to go. Yeah, because you're healing. Your heart is broken. You feel betrayed or or you feel betrayed. And there's a sense of like loneliness. There, there's this pain you feel like you need to get through still. So you're removing yourself from the pain. Um, or any more knives being thrown into your back, okay? Um, you know, I feel like, Virgo, if you ended a relationship with someone, this is still an upheaval for you as well because there's a sense of loss. So, Virgo, I really feel like this month of January, you're kind of like curled up in a ball licking your wounds. Not all of you. Some of you are like, no, I'm not. I'm getting my healing and I'm getting out there and, and, and living my life and being happy. There's some of you, though. And even if you are doing that, you are you you have your moments where maybe you feel triggered or you feel a little bit of like heartbreak or a sense of loss or something. If there was a divorce or a separation or some kind of breakup or a horrible argument or something. Um, I feel like you're still processing interestingly enough you do have the two of cups so i feel like the best that you can arrive at i mean i do feel like there will be connection being made um in january but i feel like it's going to be very friendly okay because i don't really feel like you're ready to jump into anything with anyone um can a love thing a spark happen i do feel like you'll connect with someone where um there will be this like potential for a relationship. Now, for some of you, this is going to be connecting with a friend, like someone who gets you, like you're a mirror of each other and spending a lot of time, you know, or it's just another person. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could just be another person that you're connecting with because there's a lot of healing. You see the caduceus there? Caduceus, can never say that. That's like the... Um, the medical symbol that's all about healing maybe it's therapy maybe it's connecting with like i don't know doing some yoga or connecting with some other people you know this is like a real healing time for you virgo and with that caduceus it's like maybe there's like medical stuff that you're you know getting maybe you're going to get some medicine <laughs> 
maybe you're going to get some weed or something just to you know get yourself in this place where you can like fast track your healing before you really get into anything and it just feels to me like that's a priority for you and look you have the hangman so this is all about you know trying to see the situation differently like in your life right right now in at this time or in january you might feel like a little trapped maybe you're um limited you're not able to really get yourself to the next step just yet um or things are a bit uncertain, or you're not exactly sure how things are going to go. But I love that the hangman's here because this tells me you have a very open mind, you know, and that you are, um, you're willing to wait until the answers come. Okay, you are in this position where, you know, okay, I might be stuck in this situation right now that I'm in. But you know what, I can see my way out of this. Um, I can envision, um, I can look at the situation differently or I can kind of just try to come about it. And I do feel like you will um, get a different angle. You might talk to somebody or some friends or someone close to you or you connect with someone who gives you a completely different angle and shows you a way through, right? And I really feel like that that is going to be so profound for you, Virgo, in January, definitely. So will you connect with someone? Yeah, I do feel like you will. Oh, look, you have the Page of Cups. So I do feel like there's going to be like, well, I'm going to give you a couple of messages here. I do feel like um, there will be some very sweet, nice, loving messages coming to you or some good news. Some of you may hear from that past person with an apology, but this apology is only a page. So it's very... Um, there's no depth to it. It might be an apology in a sense of like, okay, I'm sorry, but that's it. There's nothing behind it. It's just sorry. Um, usually apologies come with changed behavior and page of cups is too immature to have changed behavior. So the page of cups is just going to be like the little child who gets caught putting their hand in the cookie jar and it's just like, oh, sorry, but you know, <laughs> This person, like, they, they need to be disciplined into changing behavior. I don't think that they're going to dis self-discipline. I just don't. I feel like this person is just very immature. Let's see. <clears throat> wow. Okay, Virgo. So you deserve love. You better know it, Virgo. If not love from others, love from self. Self-love. Definitely. So I feel like, okay, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So Virgo, you know what? This this is kind of like a message to me to tell you, don't negate how you felt about this person. You had true romantic loving feelings um, and they were real to you, okay? Um, if something didn't work out, it doesn't mean that those feelings weren't val valid, okay? Honor those feelings, the romantic feelings that you had, Um explore how you really felt and ask yourself why did you feel why did you have these feelings for someone who is treating you badly maybe you didn't realize it you know that's more of an in-depth look but it's also time to free yourself again take back control of your life Virgo so I really feel like in January you're doing just that you are um you know you're keeping yourself you're holding steady that's what I, I that's what I just keep feeling like you're holding steady you are not backing down you've made a decision or you are as a, according to the last reading you've made a decision or in this time period you are making a decision sticking by your guns you're sticking to it you're choosing a lane and it's basically like you're gonna keep it moving and if somebody doesn't come in with that bloody stump behavior uh, you know showing up at your door with their leg cut off below the knee ready to limp for you for the rest of their life then it's a no okay and that's just facts it's just facts like there's nothing else there's really nothing to say because words are just words like you need action you need proof and i feel like you're starting to come to terms with what you thought might have been your soulmate or twin flame actually was a karmic and karmic relationships can look like twin flame relationships okay except the karmic relationships i don't know there's there's a heavy lesson there's something there's a lot of turmoil more so than the twin flame let me see what your messages of love oracle messages are here past life love okay your soul remembers this intense connection so 
this is a past life thing, you know, um, and, but it's a past life karmic, you know, there was a very intense connection with someone and this person still secretly longs for you. Like, I don't feel Virgo that that is ever going to go away from this person. I don't know how it's going to be for you. Um, but I can definitely tell you that it's probably more so because of their abandonment issues and, you know, having anxiety that you just, you know, you ran. That's what the runner is. You ran away. Like you, it's like clear as day, the karmic relationship and the runner right after that, running away from that. So, yeah, I feel like this person, they're like, they're, they're struggling right now. Like, I feel like this person, it's crazy because there's like a thread tied between the two of you and like you ran that thread is still tied and they're dragging behind like they're still longing for you yearning for you but you know they haven't set themselves free and i don't know that this person is ever going to be able to do that like they probably have threads attached to so many people because they're like like i don't know and one gas station closes down they got to go to another one but i don't know they're they're definitely still attached to you okay you've learned the spiritual lesson so you are you are the master of peace at this time virgo you are you you're mastering peace you're mastering calm at this time um what was the spiritual lesson here for you virgo like lessons learned um what was the spiritual lesson what did you learn virgo that you have to keep rising i don't know some of you okay to trust in yourself that's the lesson that you've learned virgo you you might not have been trusting yourself for some reason i don't know you doubted yourself and the spiritual lesson here is never second guess yourself you're you listen your body was built and equipped to sense danger to sense things that aren't healthy or that aren't right you feel uncomfortable um, that's not you. You don't have to be the tough person, and face your fears and overcome. You're okay. I just feel like you might be dealing with or you've dealt with people who are just, you know, um, not healthy. You know, that, what was that saying I saw? Rather than sit there and blame yourself, um, maybe you're just around assholes. <laughs> maybe it's them, Virgo. <laughs> maybe you need to stop blaming yourself and realize you're just a, around a, a whole bunch of assholes or a-holes i should say excuse me youtube sponsors yeah so that's kind of what i feel like the message is there and i feel like it's really important for you to like recognize that it's safe for you to trust yourself and this situation this decision that you're making is good for you because it's good for both because karmic relationships can't that's toxic relationship that's karmic is just another word for toxic relationship this person might have been toxic you became toxic you know or you were acting out of toxic behavior and and then they were responding to that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what matters is you getting in a healthy place all right let's take a look and i see in january you doing that for sure all right let's take a look and see what the chinese signs of you this person um could be both of you could just be you or nobody let's take a look and we are going into the year of the rabbit and the year of the rabbit is quietly it's about quietly scurrying away <laughs> getting away getting out of danger so that's what the year is staying away from danger i don't know why i have to tell you that and look year of the rabbit first card that popped out so there you go okay we also have the snake there is a dog year of the ox year of the rooster year of the goat year of the ox again year of the rooster again year of the rat okay and year of the dragon now if i didn't call your sign your chinese sign don't worry about it um it doesn't mean it's not your message but also virgo um if you're not sure what your chinese sign is do look it up okay um i <laughs> i don't know what happens how i lose my decks it's crazy oh here they go 
I have to get like I've got this really cool thing to keep all my 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 cards and my decks together but sometimes I don't know they just camouflage all right let me see what your moon pie tarot messages are going forward here other messages for Virgo you can do this Virgo you have the courage and strength to withstand this situation start by soothing the beast within you and go forth with kindness it's the strongest attribute you'll ever have fight back by not fighting pull that courage up from the ground and hold steady because you're a winner all right virgo whatever you're going through whatever you're pulling away from or you're making a decision to pull away from listen this is what you need to do for yourself this is this is the the lesson self-respect okay justice is served remember that thing you were sweating over yeah well that's ending you're in a good place or you will be because the verdict is delivered in favor of you the truth will prevail so this is like karmic being karma being served for people you know you want to rack up good karmic points in life and when people spend their time racking up negative karmic points in life that shit comes back to them and they will get their karma okay I don't know why these cards are in here huh this is weird but these two cards were stuck in this deck and they don't even go in here but I've got two messages here am I good enough for you and you are my weakness so Virgo that might be the person that you're walking away from this is somebody who might be like very insecure coming back because they you make them weak oh Virgo I know you're trying to get out of this energy I know but you're doing good if that's something you're already doing good if that's something you're thinking about doing don't take too long get on with your life it's a brand new year all right let me see what other messages there are here for you we have any names or any other particular signs for Virgo okay wow transformation okay so we do have um, somebody initial C the letter C okay and I'm also seeing someone who um, hmm. I just heard maestro 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 I don't know what that means Ma maestro maestro I'm not see well I'm kind of seeing someone in like a tuxedo um, or calling a waiter or a server or, you know over like you know someone sits at the table and then they snap their fingers like over here over here can we have the check i'm also seeing that okay interesting okay so we have the letter k and the letter g all right letter k and the letter g and then i'm also picking up ukraine ukraine or uk ukraine or the uk okay we have all right letter x we also have someone's name starts with the letter i as well and there's a v okay we have a, a letter r and i'm getting the letter d someone's name starts with a d okay huh okay somebody has long dark hair almost black long dark hair and also someone has blonde hair but it's cut kind of short it's like long strands but it's cut short if that makes any sense i don't know what that would be called <laughs> all right we have the letter h and the letter m m is in mary m is in mark um mary mark melissa okay and a u letter u okay let's get some numbers and signs okay leo pisces capricorn aries okay um all right they're giving me the number 205 and 206 205 206 also 201 okay that's strange uh, somebody is 54 um hmm 
and they're telling me 610 as well. And someone is 56. Okay, what else? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, September, uh, September 22nd? I don't know if that's, is that, Vir is that Virgo still or is that Libra? We also have August 30th. Um, September 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th. Um, September 6th, September 10th, and the 11th, and uh, August 23rd. Okay, we have Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And then we'll do one more. And then I just saw Pisces again. Okay, Sagittarius, Cancer, Gemini, and Aries. Okay, and let's see, somebody is 38, um, someone is 48. Getting that August 30th again that keeps coming up. Um, September 12th. Um, also, September 20. And someone was born in 1984. Someone is also 30 years old. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to just give you your charms and then that's going to be it. Let's see what your charm is. What are your charms? What are the charms for Virgo? Wow. Are you kidding? You have a cross. Wow. You have a cross, Virgo. So something here, the cross represents religion of some sort, obviously Christianity. So that might be important to someone. Christianity or praying, um, praying to a cross, or some of you are holding that cross up like a stake for that vampire to get away. Okay, we also have a building with a dome on top of it. So, you know, for me, that always looks like one of two things. It's either the Vatican or it's the Capitol building, a Capitol building, but it's, it could also be somewhere in Russia um, or somewhere in like the Balkans or somewhere in that area also okay so maybe you're somebody might be going planning a trip going to the holy land or um yeah look crazy i also have a um a star here it could be the star of david could be somebody could be going to jerusalem as well hmm i don't know i feel like those are very specific messages or someone works in like a, a public building a government building as well um, there might be some political things going on with religion being involved in um, a public um, state building or something like that. Um, could be something about building maybe a synagogue or a church or something along those lines also. Okay. And one more for you, Virgo, and then I'm going to end your reading. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I don't know. It's some kind of a fish. It looks like a goldfish. So, there's a goldfish here. I'm not so sure what that... Well, it's weird looking. Yeah, I guess it is. So, it's a goldfish, but it's like looking down on top of a goldfish. So, maybe you, you are or you were or you will be looking in like a fish pond. Something about if... Oh, okay. They just gave me a song. Um... And the lyrics go, um, we're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year, going over the same old ground and how we found the same old fears. Wish you were here. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know if that resonates for you, those words. Um, or that song. I think that was a Pink Floyd song. I don't know which one was pink, but it is what it is. Maybe somebody likes the color pink. So I don't know. I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgo. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with your next daily reading. So um, do go over to, I've updated my Facebook page. So um, 
do go over to my Facebook page. I'll leave the link on my um, YouTube channel. You guys can go visit me over there where I'm trying to be more active <laughs> on social media this year. Um, and yeah, my website is also almost done and I'm going to be offering tarot classes coming soon this year. And um, I'm just setting everything up right now. So yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, go ahead and book your reading with me. And yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right, take care. <laughs>